Hello, Pisces. How are you guys? It's the end of the year. Finally, we're done with 2017. Everybody thought it was going to be so much easier than 2016. Oof. Yeah, that didn't happen. So let's see what's going on in the first half of December with you guys. Um, I'm curious if you got the positive recognition that you so rightly deserve at the end of November. It is the 26th of November, so we still have a couple of days left. Um, but I kind of feel like you guys opened up a little bit and maybe took the opportunity to recognize yourselves as well. <clears throat> so let's see what's going on here. We have the star card. It's the Aquarius card. Um, it's also talking about having your wishes come true, your hopes come true. And then we have the Four of Cups. And we have the Four of Swords. And we have Judgment. And we have the Eight of Cups. And we have the King of Cups. So there you guys are. And look how happy he is. Oop, throwing him around. Okay. Um, so you guys kind of sat and contemplated for a while. I feel like maybe that um, will happen in the beginning of December. What do you want? It's almost in a guarded state, but this guy's meditating here. He has his emotions surrounding him. And he's meditating. This guy is out in the cold, doesn't have a coat on. No shoes, surrounded by wolves, very guarded. Um, but you could have, you could be doing that because of the Eight of Cups, walking away from things. There are things that um, you're emotionally invested in or thinking about walking away from these things in December. Um, and then here comes the universe saying, if you listen to me, I'll take care of you. If you let me, if you talk to me, if you allow it, I'll take care of you because that guy is getting medicine from the universe. And <clears throat> once we let the universe start taking care of things, it's like an open door for our wishes to come true. It's like um, brand new opportunities. It's like bringing things out from the dark that have been under the moon. The moon doesn't have to be secret. It could just be things, emotional things that are inside of you that need to be said, that are now kind of coming out so that you can have that recognition. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the page, it might as well be the Ace, I'm just kidding. The Page of Pentacles is like an offering, a message. Um, it doesn't have to be really big though, you know? I mean, it, it's a page. So it could be the beginning of something very stable in your life. It really, like the spread so far is feels actually very good to me because you guys have had things that you've needed to walk away from for a while. And you know, sitting and thinking about it, sure, yeah, this state is okay to do, but have we? how long have we been there? How long have you guys been sitting and thinking about this? How long have you guys been very, very guarded? And then we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, um, to me, sometimes it can be really wishy-washy. It can be a fire sign that's in your life. Um, Leo. Sagittarius, Aries. Um, but it could also be very passionate. You could want to be like charging into something that is really like passionate to you. Or it's a very wishy-washy state. You could be a little back and forth about something, something you need to walk away from. We have the Three of Swords. You guys have really been heartbroken for a while. And dwelling on it, 
sitting within it. So the first half of November, you're still going to be there. I really feel like you need to have that positive recognition that we talked about, and I'm not sure that you're opening up to it. And, and really, the universe saying, you know, let me take care of you. Bring those things to light. Let's really think about walking away from stuff because, you know, we're, we're still here. We're still here. Hanged man, nine of swords. We're still here. And you guys have so much good stuff coming and you don't feel like it. And I feel like it might be almost like self-sabotage. Are you, I mean, are, if you have somebody in your life that is hurting you or has hurt you in the past, why not walk away from that emotional distress? Why stay in this state of not sleeping, being depressed, being in that hanged man position, having a broken heart? And you want a new beginning. The fool is, you know, this is taking that leap of faith, not knowing what's underneath that. You know, who knows if there's a safety net. But you got to trust. And when somebody is starting to recognize you, when somebody's opening back up to you, or if somebody new comes in and they're opening up to you, but you're still stuck in this state of, and it doesn't even have to be somebody new. It could be like some, you know, it could be a friend that you've, you know, really been close to and connected to for a long time and everybody's still seeing you stuck. Everybody's still seeing you in this nine of swords state. And why, why, why are you guys still here? It's hard to walk. I mean, trust me, I walked away from things that I was severe, like so ultimately invested in marriages, strong relationships. And it could be the emotions that are inside of you that you're sitting in that need to be that you need to leave behind. Not it, it doesn't even have to be externally. It could be these these things, these emotions, the stuff that you're keeping in the dark, that you're like holding from yourself, that you need to let go. So something can come in. Because you're feeling awfully stuck right now. And it's very difficult being in the hanged man position for so long. How long have you been in the hanged man position? If somebody is recognizing you, who you are, if somebody truly believes in who you are, whether it be in a relationship, whether it be at work, whether it be in your friendships, it's like you're not letting it come in. You're being very guarded. You're not believing this person. You're not believing these people that you are good, that you are worth it. It's like a it's like a perpetual state of sadness because you've been hurt in the past. Because there's been this cycle of up and down, up and down, and maybe walking away will hurt too. And you don't want to you don't want to deal with that broken heart. You don't want to deal with the broken heart of other people. <clears throat> but isn't that inevitable in life? Doesn't everybody get hurt once in a while? Isn't that the lesson that we have to learn? Recognition, you guys. The Nine of Cups and the Six of Wands. What are you wishing for? What do you need recognition on? Are you getting the recognition? Do you believe that you deserve it when you get it? Because if that's the ideal that you have to walk away from, if that's the thought that you have to walk away from, that work needs to be done because you have great things coming. <clears throat> So right now we're in the shadow period since it's the end of November for 
um, Mercury retrograde and it's building because um, Mercury goes retrograde on the second. When Mercury is retrograde, um, things start to slow down. The good part of it is you kind of think before you speak because everything's not because Mercury is the planet of communication, of haste, of speed. So you start to slow down. You think before you speak. Everybody else is thinking before they're speaking. But sometimes things don't come out. Especially since Neptune went direct in your sign. You're a ruling planet. When Neptune uh, was in retrograde for six months, things were said. You know, you got to know the true colors of people. Maybe people were blabbermouths. And now that's kind of, and you guys have like gone back. It's like you got, you've gone backwards because you're still stuck. And, and is it because somebody actually is recognizing you and you don't believe it? I'm not that good enough. Why would I be that good enough? Who am I? We're all energy. We're all souls. We are all souls living a human experience. Every single one of us matters. Yes, some of us have been put on this planet to um, learn lessons, very, very hard lessons about ourselves, about the people that are surrounding us. But when we don't learn these lessons, we're going to come back in another lifetime and have to do it all over again. How torturous is that? Who wants to do that? <laughs> Man. Okay. The Nine of Wands. The Two of Swords. The Two of Swords in this deck. Um, she's not blindfolded, but she's got her back to that wolf. So it's almost like she's prey. Somebody's sneaking up behind her. And she's ready when she turns around, but maybe she doesn't hear the wolf and doesn't turn around. She gets eaten alive. And so you're in a very defensive stance here. I'm ready for the war. But I don't think you're ready for the war because you're in kind of this mode. You have your back turned to it. So when that war comes along and it's kind of a shock and a surprise and you're like, uh, where the hell did that come from? It could possibly be because you didn't say what you needed to say. But after that war happens, you get to rebuild. Let's do this. You get to rebuild. The Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, and the Three of Pentacles could really talk about having, like, a crew. Sorry, when the energy is really heavy, I start to get, like, like the burps. It's not even a burp. It's like a hiccup, kind of. I don't know. Um... So the Three of Pentacles kind of talks about like having that tribe that helps you rebuild. And then, you know, then you get to get, get, get to get that stable ground. And you feel a little bit more secure. You're out of the rain. But where's that bright day that you are waiting for? The sun and... The Seven of, of Pentacles is, you know, you've been nurturing this. You've been nurturing this and nurturing this and waiting and waiting for your seeds to grow. And I don't think you believe that that bright sunny day is right around the corner because you're guarded from it. You know, you may be getting recognition from your tribe and you're not listening because you don't believe you deserve it. But why stay in this angsty, I can't sleep at night, I'm so depressed, I'm going to be guarded, I don't want to fight the war, I don't want to fight the battle, I'm too tired, let me sleep.
Is there an earth sign in your life? The king of pentacles. Um, it doesn't have to be a king. It could be a queen. General reading. Um, the king of pentacles is very stable. He is very um, giving and um, sturdy. But he also kind of looks like he's a piece of crap there. Like, I have everything. Don't touch my pentacles. So it could really go either way. Um, and then we have the king of swords. He looks a little meaner. This is a guy who is very rational, very straightforward, very tunnel visioned. I want what I want. I'm going to do things my way. You cannot change that. And if you try to change that, I might use my sword on you. However, he's very protective. And he is firm. And he is strong. And he will stand by you. You know, if he's, if he's your friend, he will stand by you. And he's not, I mean, he's honest about his feelings, whether their feelings are good or bad. He's going to tell you how he feels. So, if you have a friend or a foe, if you have a foe, I know that word is so stupid. If you have, some, if you have somebody in your life that is bringing you down and keeping you in this three of swords state, if you're doing that to yourself, three of swords, four of swords, nine of swords. If you're doing that to yourself, it's like, walk away. Use those, use that knowledge, that eight of cups, knowing that you have to walk away from this because there's a bright day coming. And, I, and if you don't let it come, you will stay miserable. If you don't stand your ground, you'll stay miserable. And that's hard for me to see because the universe here wants to take care of you. And it's I feel like you guys just don't believe it. But I love this. These two cards right here. The Nine of Cups and the Six of Wands. This is your reward. This is your gift. And you could already have it and just not see it. Or not you're not letting yourself see it. Because somebody hurt you. And you don't feel like you deserve it. Or maybe you're just consistently self-sabotaging yourself. And I'm not saying that in a bad thing, in a bad way. I just feel like there has been this, you guys are magic. You guys are very intuitive. You guys can, you have this huge imagination. You know? And when you're self-sabotaging your, who you are and your life around you, and you continuously get into this cycle of being with people that you know aren't good for you, but you keep doing it. And then you're like, well, why am I being treated like crap? You got to walk away. Um, so I hope that in December, the first half of December, things start to look a little better for you. And you start to recognize that you have these wishes. So, um, shop talk really quick. If you want to contact me on the Instant Go app, um, the it's for iPhone users, and you can text me questions. You can call me or FaceTime me, um, and um, I will let you know that I do have downtime. So, I'm gonna say that the timing is between 15 minutes, and it's no longer than 12 hours. So, please be patient when it comes to that. Um, I am not up 24 hours a day, and I do have a family, but I love answering the questions, so please take advantage of that. 
and um, the donations that have come in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This channel would not be able to keep going without those donations. So appreciative. Thank you. Um, and if you would like to donate um, to keep this channel going strong, like it has been, because you guys are fantastic, um, consider donating. The link is also below. The November prices for readings are still there for December. They will go back to regular pricing um, in January. And let's see. Oh, I have a new reading option that I think everybody will be really excited about. I am going to do personal readings for your 2018 forecast for each month. So if you would like to do, look at your 2018 forecast to see kind of what you can expect throughout the months. Um, that information is also below and you can email me. Um, my email is spirituallyfearless1111 at gmail.com. Also, I am traveling um, this weekend coming up, um, the first weekend in December, I will be in Woodbine, Iowa. Um, and actually, I'll be doing two nights of readings. So it's like Harlan, Iowa, Woodbine, Iowa. Um, let me know. I can send you the information. The weekend of the 14th through 18th, I will be in East Pennsylvania. And if you would like to know where I will be in that location, or if you are around that area anywhere and you would like for me to stop by, I would love to meet you and do readings for you, personal readings. So, I hope your first half of December is fantastic. And, I mean, it looks kind of like you guys are still working through things, but if you work with the universe, you have really great stuff coming. So, I love you guys. Take very good care of yourselves. Bye.